Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to new Minecraft hack client test video. Now today we're going to check out the worst hack client for 1.8 coded by Alexander. It was already an awesome client in 1.7.10, but now here we got the 1.8 version. And once again, a lot of features, including force OP are in this hack client. As always, you can find the download link down below in the description, so feel free to check it out. And if you don't know how to install the hack client, then please check out the installation tutorial, which you can also find down below in the description. Okay guys, so now enough of talking, let's go to the game and let's check out the worst hack client, so there we go. Okay guys, we're now here in the game and this is the worst hack client coded by Alexander in version 1.3.1. And worst means source search in German, so I think Alexander is from Germany. But anyway, let's check out the hack client. Currently Optifine is not included because it's not fully released right now. But we got a working alt manager. And if you run the alt manager for the first time, you will get a message if you want to add some random alt accounts. If you press yes, you will get this list of cracked accounts or a different list, so it just generates some random names, which you can use on cracked servers. But if you want to add your own accounts, you can do that by pressing the add button. Now, um, if you want to add a premium account, you have to fill in name or email and the password. If you just want to add a cracked account, just fill in some random username and leave the password from blank and go to add. You can also choose a random name if you don't know any names. Okay, so um, there's also a cool feature included in this alt manager, for instance, if you have a friend with a cool skin, or if you just want to have the skin of another person, you just have to enter his name here. For instance, like Trimo, which I just found when I wanted to enter Trimon. And for instance, if I want to have the skin here, I can just steal it. So you just have to press the steal skin button, and then it saves the skin here to worst slash skins slash the skin name dot png and then you can use it with your account and that's pretty cool okay so that was the old manager so let's go back then minecraft realms as always is not working so if you want to use that you have to go back to the original client okay so basically that's it in multiplayer you get some new buttons like import servers from a server list also export servers to a list and and server finder so you can find servers from ips and that's pretty cool. Okay, so basically that's it. Now let's go in-game and let's check out the worst hacks. Okay guys, we're now in the game in creative, so I can also show you the nuka. And I finally got a new PC, so you will see it's a little bit faster than on my laptop. Um, a few clients are still laggy because, yeah, coding issues and while rendering Nodos is really laggy for me, I don't know why. Um, the worst hack client is pretty good. And before we take a look at the GUI, let's have a look at the comments which you can enter in the console or directly into the chat. Now let's just open up the chat and let's type .help. And that gives you the first page of the comments which you can enter here directly into the chat. For instance, you can check out here the friend list with .friends, but just make sure when you enter comment that you just type dot and then the comment, otherwise it will be not recognized. Okay, so you can enter them directly here into the chat. Now you can also use key binds or you just use the GI of the hack client. So that can be opened up by pressing the left control key on the keyboard. And that opens up this big GI. And as always, it's a drag and drop GI. So you should see all those boxes here. And you can drag and drop those boxes here around the screen. Now you will see here an arrow which points down and this pin here. And if you press that, it turns red. That means it is pinned to your screen. And yeah, that means if you go out of the GUI by pressing the escape key, it still stays on your screen. And that can be useful with some things. Okay, so let's expand all those hack categories. Here we have different settings. Here we have rendering hacks. Here we have some combat hacks, movement hacks, miscellaneous hacks, chat hacks, including force OP work in progress mods or hacks um, those do not work right now like pawn age and that should spawn a ton of random players that spam chat messages but yeah um, it's work in progress so it doesn't work right now or they can maybe crash the client but anyway we don't have to check that out and here we got blocks 
Okay, then let's go quickly here through the hacks and all the hacks you can see here can be activated by just clicking at them. And also if you don't know what a hack is doing, then you just have to hover with the mouse over the hack. And then you get a little description box, so you can see it here right now, which tells you what the hack does. And the description box is really good, so it really tells you everything about the hack you need to know. And here we got some block mods like the nuker, maybe the most important thing. Also we got here some auto build things. And yeah, let's try the nuker. The nuker range is also adjustable and you see the nuker works perfectly, absolutely no issues with that. And it just works in creative. There's also a survival nuker, but it doesn't work like this. So if you want to use the nuker here like this, you have to be in creative or you have to be OP. Okay, then here we can check out auto build and auto build basically builds some stuff automatically. Like here you have a few presets, <laughs> like a penis or something, which you can build. You just have to have enough blocks and then you can build it with one click. And that's pretty good for griefing if you um, want to spawn some random things like penises all over the place. You can do that with all those auto block mods. Then let's check out the chat settings. Here we got anti-spam and force OP. Now let me explain what force OP does. Now we all know force OP doesn't make you OP with one click. That's not possible so don't fall for it. And we have here how to use so if you want to get more information that just press on that and there's a pretty good description. So force OP only works on servers which have the Automy plugin installed. That means where you have to log in or register. And basically this force OP hack just tries the most common passwords and you can also use your own password list. And for instance, it tries every password um, after one second. So it goes through the list, it tries one password after one second, the next password, and it can take very long or it's maybe impossible to guess the password. So there is no hack that makes you OP with one click. That's not possible. And here's just this basic force OP, which actually each person can code. It's very easy to make. Now here we have some miscellaneous hacks like Mighty Cyrus, you can twerk around, you can do shit, you can troll people. We also got Yes Cheat Plus, which tries to bypass No Cheat Plus and also disables other hacks which are not No Cheat Plus compatible so you don't get banned or don't get kicked. Then here we got some movement hacks. We got your flight, you have already seen that. All the other movement hacks, all the basic hacks are included like glide, face, um, basically everything is included here and works pretty nice. You just have to watch out because not all the hacks are no cheat plus compatible so you maybe get kicked by an anti-cheat plugin or you may get banned so just do it on your own risk. Now here we also got the combat hacks and you will later see the PvP gameplay. It's still really awesome, you can fly around. Um, no cheat isn't that good so it just kicks you if you fly too long but you can still fly around, you can use skill aura we got here different modes, Kill Aura, Kill Aura Legit and Multi Aura. So I'm using Kill Aura Legit, it's still fast and pretty good, but you don't get kicked by no cheat. Okay, that were the combat hacks. Then here we got some rendering hacks and those are pretty important like in chest ESP, free cams so you can go out of your body, full bright, item ESP, we got here also LSD which looks really funny, mob ESP, big name tags and player ESP, tracers and a good and working x-ray, which can also be configured in the worst options. You will see that a little bit later. But I think it's also possible to configure x-ray over the chat comments. But anyway, um, there's an x-ray manager included, which works really awesome. Now here we got some settings, and basically here you can adjust the speed of the most tags, like the fly speed, um, the nuke range. So there are a lot of things which are adjustable here in the settings. And we can also try that, so let's set the nuke range to maximum. We also have a kill aura speed for the PvP, you will see that later. And yeah, let's try the nuke once again. And there we go, it works perfectly, and yeah, that's also the maximum nuke range. Okay, so yeah, that were all the hacks here in the GUI. Now we can close the GUI and check out the worst options. You can open them up by pressing escape and then clicking at worst options. And here we got click friends on, so you can um, add friends to your friend list by pressing the middle mouse button. Work in progress mods can be deactivated if they cause problems. And you can switch your array list, so if there's too much on the screen you can use that. Also here's the X-ray block manager, so you can add or remove blocks and you can edit your keybinds. 
Last but not least, we got here worst website, FAQ, suggest a feature, and you can also give feedback if something is not working. Okay, so that were all the features of the worst tech client, and now you will see the awesome PB gameplay. So just sit down, enjoy, download the hack client, and as always, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.